Okay, let's have a look at that great idea you had at our last lesson for a minor chord progression. We've been using um, major chord progressions, G, C, D, E minor, and with an E minor chord in there, but, um, you know, mostly major sounding things, which is fine. It's good to be happy, right? Uh, minor uh, keys, you know, are for things uh, maybe a little more serious, maybe a little more melancholy. But anyways, you have this great idea, E minor to a B7. Now notice I'm playing my E minor with my second finger on string 5 fret 2 because it makes it very easy to get to B7. My second finger's already there. G. A D. This is a type of D chord with 3, 7, 2, 7, and 1, 5. Then I believe you went back to G. And you could G, D, and you could go back to G from there, or uh, or G D C. That's nice too, All right? This is on the way back down, right? From this, from this D, D G D E minor, or D G D C, which is a really nice kind of surprise, or. Oops. D, G, D, B7, which works. It's a little weird, but it works because it has a note in common with the D, string 1 fret 2. Here's that. Da, 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 da. And that's a very strong, um, it has a very strong pull towards E minor, which would start your chord progression over again. Uh, but let's see, would, they, would the other ones work going to E minor? Yeah, that would work. We're going from C. So you had to play around, but there's some ideas, and I, I'm going to keep this short because I know you're a busy man, but um, I, I thought maybe this could help you out so you don't forget all those delicious ideas you had, and maybe I gave you a couple others. All right, if you want more, though, let me know. I'm glad to help. Thank you.